Well, it's February. Doesn't seem like it's warmer, but it is. Last night was 19 below. Oh yeah, like 28 below wind chills. And today we're going up to 30 degrees. That's right, 30 above zero. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta point that out. Okay, to recap, today is supposed to go up to about 28, 29, 30 degrees. So we're gonna do everything we can to get trucking. So the ultimate goal is to take this loader right here, bring it to a plant, get an airbag into that end up so we can hook a semi into it and uh, get it in the field so it can dump this product. And then also get this truck fired up, because this one should be ready to go, get this fired up so we can haul with that. And then try to get this loader right there in the field so we can plow open the field because I haven't plowed it yet. Or we gotta like move the snow so we can get the semis in the field. So if everything goes as Kona barks. If everything goes as planned today, there'll be a lot of pieces moving around, but it should be good. I gotta get to work. Here we go. It's kind of fun looking at this footage because uh, every trailer has a drip in it and it just so happens this trailer's drip is in the middle of the two axles where I'm trying to put airbags on. My original goal was to get two in it that weekend and uh, all of a sudden about 45 minutes into it it seemed like I had the Amazon rainforest on top of me just dripping, dripping water on me and so I was like all right we're gonna get one in call it good enough because I'm sick of getting wet. It's kind of funny, we bought this trailer and uh, it had the tag axle in it. The guys out in Wisconsin didn't, didn't use it. They just loaded it in the back of the trailer, which worked out great. Then it dawned on me like, hey, we gotta get this out before we use this trailer. So uh, we were trying to figure out what would have enough lift to lift it up and out. And luckily 950 you did, it all worked out, but kind of cool. So I don't know, all's well that ends well. So isn't it amazing how like the last couple weeks it's been super cold and we've been in the shop a lot yeah. and a day like today, now it feels like being in the shop is just torture and it's just nice to get outside, ain't it? Yeah. And it's like above zero. Yep. So we've all been kind of working on this trailer like a whole bunch and we just got the uh, box up in the air for the first time. And that was kind of the last thing we had to do to just say, kind of check it all out. And so we're just letting all the water drip out of it. Oh, wow, I've seen that before. Yeah. Air off the top, yeah, yeah. At least it's not loaded. Anytime you get the box up in the air, first time on a trailer, it's really nice because you're, you're looking at like the cylinder rams, making sure there's no scuffs, it's not pissing oil everywhere. This actually looks pretty good. And hey, look at that, we got our tire off the ground for the first time.
Where do you think the field driveway is? <laughs> this is a problem we face only in winter. <laughs> and what, <laughs> what we're talking about is the snow so high that uh, we don't quite exactly know where the field driveway is. And so that's why Adam's gonna let me do the driving because that way if I screw it up, I get to explain to the renters and the landlords. Yep. So, yeah, Let's see if we can't find it. Yep. I think I got this good enough. Uh, I think we can get a couple trucks in here tomorrow and that's the main thing. Uh, we got a beautiful sunset uh, in front of me facing the west and uh, yeah, just kind of cool. So I'm gonna go put the loader away and tomorrow we will start, uh, start trucking. Here we go. just called me so we've had a long day and uh, I've worked all day outside and so uh, my mom and dad are gone and so I was just hanging out in the house and then Adam calls me and cause he's younger and has way more energy than I do and he's like uh, you want to go for a ride and I'm like okay he's like I think I just found another gear in the Dodge <laughs> should I tell him the full story no <laughs> I don't know would it be funny or not let's see if we got fourth gear then I'll so what do you think happened? I have no idea. It just magically just don't know. Is it like normal? Is yeah, it slipping? Flesh. Oh. It was I got it to do it coming back from Tom and Don's. I stopped at Odette's corner there, crossed it, it was acting normal, then it did its weird thing and then I like did what I was doing again. Just kinda like feathering into it? Yeah, I decided to give her a little more than usual. Rev it up to about 25. <laughs> off like you do with the red dually. Yeah. Came down, all of a sudden I felt the ship. I was like, well, oh. I got in, went right up to 35. I was like, oh, this is new. Wow. I figured we had to try it. Yeah. So, so it do you think it's either warmer weather or do you think it's electronic shift body? All the above? Yeah. It's not that warm. Yeah, that, well, it, and that's the one thing that like I keep running through my head is like the first time we drove it, we backed it out of a warm shop, like it sat in the shop all day. Yeah. Might be a little bit of slipping there. I know there's some adjustments in the belt body, like even though it's electronic. So, yeah, that's oh, dude, 30. That's like the fastest I've ever had her. Yeah. Nice. No, no, not no more. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> I was like, I know these tires, but... You did 50 miles an hour with these tires <laughs> on horribly icy gravel roads. So we were commenting on the fact that, like, usually I know you're supposed to have hands on 10 and 2, and I almost never do, because uh, I drive every day. Out of our 400 some miles we put on today, I think about 300 of them have had both hands on the steering wheel perfectly at 10 and 2. stuck in the ditch while we like hook the generator up to like yeah. 8440 or something. Yeah. Yep. Still like the idea of take it to tranny shop, like let the professionals. Okay, because we know the cool thing, it 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 feels like everything is driving normal. Yep. And maybe we just got some band slipping 
which that shouldn't be overly expensive. You know, like it's running and driving. It doesn't have a crazy vibration or like, you know, the pinion shaft or the input output shaft isn't sheared off. Yeah. So, I mean, it shouldn't be horrible. Um, but maybe we, that, we just got some disc material. Mm -hmm. um, maybe she just needs some kind of freshening up. This literally is running the fuel pump still. And you think we would do a better job than letting it just dangle here on the side of the truck? No. <laughs> we're just gonna fix that another day. Tonight, we're just happy. We keep finding more gears in the transmission and it's not pissing fluid everywhere. That's all that matters. Kind of fun. Whew.